Today we're talking about Digibyte, how to set up your wallet, how to buy it, how to trade it, all that fun stuff in this video, so stay tuned. What's going on guys? So I wanna make this video really quickly to talk about Digibyte. Uh, it's a small position that I took in Digibyte the other day, around the .06 cent area. So like I said, small position, it's nothing crazy, but I'm getting into it, just kinda of learning the ropes here. This might have big potential on the upside. Like I said, there's always a thousand different coins and different theories and people pumping and dumping. But I feel, you know, Digibyte's got a pretty cool story behind it. So I'm gonna get behind it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a small position here and see what happens. Worst come to worst, I lose a little bit. Best case scenario, I make a lot. So we'll see what happens here with Digibyte. The price right now is really attractive. It has some nice pumps the last couple of days. It's been looking good. So we'll see what happens here with Digibyte. One of the things that I noticed a lot of people with Digibyte, they have an issue when they download the wallet. It's scary. So the wallet, you can download the wallet here from digibyte.co. You go over here to downloads for Mac, it's there. For Windows, it's there. So you just download the wallet onto your computer really easy, and then it'll look like this. So once you open it up, you'll see this. But one of the things you got to notice is when you open it, it's going to look a little bit different because it's not going to actually show you what your Digibyte is or it's going to show you and really anything because you got to actually sync with the network so when you have to sync with the network you're going to get kind of like this picture so it's going to look like this it's going to look like it's going to say seven years and 44 weeks left so you basically have to sync up with all of the blocks on the blockchain for digibyte see the transactions you have to pretty much go through and sync everything up from the last three to four years and you can see here and this was the other the other day for me. It took me about two and a half days to sync up everything. My internet is pretty fast, but it does take some time. So if you do download the Digibyte wallet, you have to leave your computer on for a couple of days, let it download all the blocks and get that set up. Once it's all synced up, then you'll have your transactions. Then you'll see your available balance. I'll be looking to see what else is coming out. I think they're coming out with a iOS wallet soon as well. Now, if you want to trade your other coins for Digibyte, the easiest way to do that is to use shapeshift.io. So you'll go to shapeshift.io there. Let's say you have Bitcoin. Let's say you want to trade it for Digibyte. And there you go. So once you have that, you'll put deposit Bitcoin. You'll receive Digibyte. You'll press continue. You'll put your Digibyte address, which will be your address from your wallet there. You'll put your Bitcoin address that you're sending from. And that way, in case there's any kind of issue, it'll bounce back there. It's simple, it's easy. That's shapeshift.io if you want to get that. Some of the benefits, some of the things that we're talking about here with Digibyte. One of the things about Digibyte compared to other coins is there will be 21 billion Digibyte by 2035. So Digibyte is much faster than other coins. Um, it has the fastest block speed of any public blockchain. There's 15 second block so it's very quick to get into a block to get mined firmed on the blockchain there's a lot of info on the digibyte website if you want to go read about everything there's a lot of info about digibyte on the digibyte website one of the things i do like about this coin is it was not an ico it was not pre-mined i think it's really cool what's going on with digibyte if you want to learn more like i said head over there to digibyte.co we'll see what happens here the next couple of months but i want to make this video to show you guys how to set up your wallet how to trade your other coins for digibyte because I think those are some of the biggest questions out there right now. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do some more research and learn some more about Digibyte. But right now, just kind of breaking down how fast this is compared to Litecoin, even compared to Bitcoin, how fast it is transaction-wise. And then talking about security, talking about the decentralized network. It's very decentralized. Miners, there's five, I think there's five different algorithms for the mining. So it's very, uh, it's, you know, keeps it keeps it from having just a couple miners controlling the whole network. And you can see really cool stuff. <laughs>